I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Cardi B responds to critics who claim Offset is interfering with her music career. Why well, may her group say, you love a nap. I sure, I love me a f***ing nap. Listen, by 5 p.m., I need to take me a little nice one hour, 30 minute nappy nap, okay? So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, I want to talk. All right, so I'm going to give you a little tea to my fans. So, yes. I did shot my um, album cover while I was pregnant. And I really do like these pictures. But I want to take a little... I want to take a little more. I want to take some more. I don't want to tell y'all if I'm going to have multiple covers or not. Because like I said... Y'all know that... Y'all already know how many... Y'all, y'all know that people like to... You know what I'm saying? They like to pre me, man. We like to pre everything that I got going on. So I ain't going to tell y'all much. But, yeah. I forgot what happened. I was so afraid to tell you that I was pregnant that I had a whole plan. My whole plan was... My whole plan was to announce my album and then announce my pregnancy. Because I felt like if I announced my pregnancy or if you guys found out that I was like pregnant, like... If y'all caught me like out and with a belly and everything, I feel like you guys were gonna like curse me out. Like, it's like, bitch, why the f would you get pregnant? Hey, you gotta f- deliver a fing album. But so many things that I have planned for my album because I just don't wanna release music out with it. Like, I wanna, I want everything to go one, 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 one. That is like, you know what? F- it. I don't give a f- what y'all say. I'm pregnant. I just didn't want y'all to throw bad energy on my pregnancy. Like, it's like, oh, you a dumb bitch. Like, oh, I knew you're not going to have a, a album if you get pregnant. Like, I didn't want another that. So, that's why I was so scared to even, like, tell y'all. I had I had certain plans. There's certain things planned. Like, shoot the cover. Do the announcement. And then announce your pregnancy. So, people won't be like, oh. You know what I'm saying? It it was a lot. It was a lot. I was overthinking. I was just overthinking and I overplanned. But some of those plans got God was like, fuck your plans, bitch. Living live your life, bitch. But yeah. Mm. Fair fa D Melo. D Melo Fair Fa. What the fuck was that? Anybody here? Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. All right. And for some reason, with this pregnancy, I didn't even have that much fatigue. Like, I literally only threw up one time. I literally threw up one time in, with this pregnancy. Like, I feel like the only time that I had, like, a little complications was when I injured my fucking pelvis when I fucking tripped. Like, I literally tripped and I almost did a split. It was terrible. We had to call the ambulance and everything. But that was the only time that I had, like, a real, like, issue. Other than that, I, I didn't even... I didn't really feel like nausea or nothing like that. It's, it was crazy. I'm telling you, it was God. God. God was like, here, baby, you need this baby. And I really, really love it. I like the fact that around, I when I when I first gave birth to culture, I didn't really have like a, a stable home. Like I, like I, I ain't had a, a home. We ain't bought a home yet. When I gave birth to my son, I had a home in Atlanta, but I know I didn't want to live in Atlanta. So, um, when I gave birth to my son, I didn't really have a home. I didn't have anything together. Now, with my daughter, I have a home. Oh, my pizza here. Now, with my daughter, I have a home. Everything is, like, right in place. Um, I have a nanny that's helping us with the baby. 
So everything is like good. I never, I never really had a nanny like that. So it's like had a nanny like that. So it's like I don't know. This time is like so much easier. So now is it is go time. It's time to put out the fucking album. I'm negotiating my tour deals because they got to come with the real rice money check. I know my worth, motherfuckers. I know I bring motherfuckers out, so. Negotiating my tour deal. I don't know. I feel like I'm starting a brand new life. I have a very... I have... I have a couple of business ventures that I feel like these are the business ventures that are going to take me to where I want to be. I, I don't want to tell you my goal in life because if I tell you my goal and my dream, y'all going to throw salt on it. So I'm not going to. So I'm not going to tell you my goal or my dream, but I really I, as a Libra, I plan I plan. I always look at where am I where am I gonna where am I be at five years from now? Five years from now, I have certain goals that I wanna reach. And I also wanna I also wanna make this very clear. Like I have to take accountability for myself because I do see on the internet that like don't think I'm trying to defend people or everything. Like I see a lot of people like try to say like it's like oh People be trying to stop you. You be getting pregnant, this, this, and that. I have to take accountability of for myself. My kids don't stop me from putting music. My kids don't stop me from grinding. Like, I gave birth to my son. And even after I gave birth to my son, it's been three years. And I haven't dropped a lot of music. And I haven't dropped a lot of things. I have to take accountability for my own self. I have let a lot of the, the critiques and... and the social medias and all that stuff, I have let that shit get in my head for a very long time to the point that it has made me insecure with my own work, with my own accent, with my own self, with my own attitude. Like, it got to the point that pe some people that are close to me be like, yo, I don't even know you anymore. Like, it's like, this has never been you. When have you cared? When have you cared to do this? When have you cared to say that? When have you cared to 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 drop shit? Like, if, when have you cared about having an accent in your music? When have you cared about this? A lot of people be like, oh, it's your kids. She's been delaying herself for the kids, the kids. And it's never really my kids. I have to take accountability that it's myself. And I have to be more confident in myself. And I have to see for myself what other people see in me. And um, I know my fans tell me this all the time. I know my family tell me this all the time. I know my ex-baby daddy used to tell me this all the time. But I was just so stuck in my head because I do feel like I... I, I like, the internet for a long time, I feel like that shit really traumatized me. And I went for a long time with the internet traumatizing me, traumatizing me, and not getting, like, therapy for it. I felt, I just felt like, oh, I, it, I, I really let, I really let, I really let the internet, like, defeat my mind. But that's not happening no more, and... It's my turn now. It's my turn now, mother. And I told myself if I feel uncomfortable and if I feel tired, then that's I, that's when I know. <laughs> Academics said twenty twenty five new music. Who said twenty twenty five? Why is it not 2024? Hmm? <laughs> um, I'll talk to you later, academics. Hit me up or something. But yeah. It's just me. I feel like I'm my own. I'm my own enemy. And no more of me being my own enemy. If I feel uncomfortable, if I feel tired, that means that I'm I'm doing good. So if I feel sleepy, that means that I'm doing good. If I feel tired, that means that I'm doing good. 
If I feel if I feel like it's too much, that means that I'm doing good. I I'm going to make my I'm going to make sure that I'm uncomfortable because me being uncomfortable is is how I'm going to reach the goal that I want to reach. I really When I reach the goal, that's when I'm going to tell you what was my goal. Anyways, I'm drunk as I'm off that honey. I'll talk to you guys later. Love ya. Have a good day. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.